Welcome to the IFS YouTube videos. My name is Amaya Karnaratna, a software designer at IFS R&D Finance. This session will focus on structure-based balance analysis and its capabilities in IFS Cloud. In IFS Cloud, our embedded solution for structure balance analysis allows you to perform a comprehensive analysis of the balancers where you can view and compare general ledger balancers while maintaining many structures effortlessly. You can define structures to support different operational follow-ups as well as structures to facilitate legal reporting such as balance sheet and income statement reporting based structures. Our solution further allows you to drill down to greater level of details where you can analyze transactions from different aspects. As the first step, I will navigate to the accounting structure page where you can define your structures. Structures can be defined with different code path dimensions. For the analysis purposes, I have defined a cost structure using the code path cost center. However, as you can see, there are a few other predefined structures such as balance sheet template, cash flow template, and income statement template. These structures can be modified or new structures can be defined as per your preference. The structure should be in active status in order to be used in the GL structure balance analysis page. Now let's move on to the GL structure balance analysis page. On this page, you can analyze the balances navigating through different structure levels and structure nodes. You can use the level query or node query for that purpose. I will first perform an analysis using the structure cost analysis. And then let's look at one of the predefined structure templates income statement. In this scenario, the given company manufactures different electronic devices which are defined as separate business units. And each business unit has separate cost centers to reflect their operations. Here, I will query the balances for mobile devices business unit for a particular period by defining the year and the period information. Additionally, by defining a balance set, you can view and analyze the planning balances along with your actual. So here, I will select a balance set for the analysis purpose. Furthermore, you can adjust the group data to display the detailed balances of connected code part values. I will group the data based on year, period, and cost center. You can use this option to configure the parameters as per your preference. Now you can clearly visualize the amounts associated with different cost centers within the selected business unit. Further, the budget and planning amounts are reflected under the planning amount and the difference between the actuals and the planning amounts are reflected under the planning difference. These can be used for different analysis and reconciliation purposes. If you want to drill down to the voucher information details, you can use the command voucher information. Finally, let's have a detailed view on one of our predefined structures based on income statement. We have number of levels and nodes connected to this structure to facilitate the analysis. In this structure, you can view the total balances for different cost and revenue categories. You also can view the gross profit balances for a given period. Further on this page, you can navigate through the structure and analyze the balances for each node, subnodes, such as operating profit, earnings before interest, tax depreciation, and amortization. As shown in this video, structures can be defined based on different code path dimensions. Using structures, you can analyze the balances on different levels, compare the actuals with planned balances, and also you can use this functionality to simulate your external reporting structures such as income statement. I hope now you have a better idea on GL structure balance analysis and how to use its capabilities in analyzing balances. With that said, we have come to the end of our video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for IFS YouTube channel.